Enchanté. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Welcome to the channel if you're brand new here. What I do here is try to inspire you to create beauty in your own home. I'm doing that along the way as we take this 1980s home and turn it into a French farmhouse. There's also an idea that I sort of unveiled a few years ago on the channel, and it was my passion for celebrating the amateur status. I am an amateur oil painter. I have been at it for just a few months, and I'm here to celebrate it. This week I set up my camera while I worked, and I stole like an artist. Now, Steal Like an Artist, while not my favorite title, is a great book that I just finished. And I invite you to visit my blog, BarisianFarmGirl.com, and read my ponderings about this book and this subject of stealing like an artist. This week, I stole like an artist, and I took an old oil painting I found at the Paris flea market, and I recreated it in my own way. The paintings I've gathered at the Paris flea markets over the last years are the style I want to emulate and turn into my own. There's something distinct about the ones my eye is drawn to, and though they have all been painted by different artists over the years, they don't look modern, and I love that. I want that. I found this yellow torn survivor on the ground propped up against a truck at the end of the Vaughn flea market a few years ago, and I fell in love. This is the second time I've done this painting, the first being my very first attempt at oil, and I was amazed to see the progress I've made. And it was really enjoyable to add my own touches. If you stay till the end, you will see a little woman I add on the stairs with an oyster basket tucked under her arm. I can just smell those wet seaweed covered stairs going down to the water, the mineral briny smell of the shoreline in my mind. This is some village in Brittany, and I wish I could share her harvest over dinner. As you know, oysters are my favorite. I filmed today's video, not for advice or even praise. I simply wanted to bring you along, especially if you need some encouragement to celebrate your own amateur self. So stay till the end, because I have some treats to share with you, including the first time I unveiled this idea. A few years ago, I painted a cake. I watercolored a cake for Valentine's Day, and I'm going to share that video and a link to the blog so you can read more. But for now, shall we paint together?
cleaning off on this a la prima painting. So it's wet on wet. I've been working on it for two days. This is the original that I found in Paris. And this is my second attempt. And I am very pleased. I invite you to visit ParisianFarmGirl.com so you can read the corresponding blog post that goes with today's video and goes with this oil painting specifically and this idea of celebrating the amateur. You can do that right here. And of course, watch this next video where I watercolor a cake for Valentine's Day. And I will see you all again very soon. A bientôt.